is your world at 10. Now, he's clearly not the first businessman to enter the political fray. We've had Anil Ambani, Vijay Malia, Rahul Bajaj, Rajiv Chandrasekhar and a whole host of others. But most of them have chosen the Rajya Sabha route. So he clearly is one of those rare few who has decided to contest uh, Lok Sabha elections this time in this election season. It's part of a growing trend, if to make a trend, because last week, Meera Sanyal, the country chief of ABN AMRO, quit her job to, uh, to enter the political fray from South Mumbai. She will be standing as an independent candidate. And now Captain Gopinath, the pioneer of low-cost aviation in the country, has decided to do the same from Bangalore. He will also be standing as an independent candidate. He joins us on the show tonight to talk to us about why he's decided to give politics another go. Captain Gopinath, you've tried your hand at this before. What brought you back into the political field? You know, I was in Bombay uh, on, on the night of 26th uh, when this uh, terrorist attack took place. Mm -hmm. uh, I was in a different hotel and that whole night I did not sleep and uh, I, was, uh, I was really agitated. I was, uh, I, 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 I saw most of these politi politicians coming and speaking but not one of them uh, uh, inspired any kind of confidence in any of us. Uh, I think each of them who spoke clearly spoke, uh, keeping in mind uh, how their uh, reaction will be measured by one community or the other community, and that was very sickening. And as you as you know, uh, I had uh, I was into farming before I started uh, my helicopter company, Deccan and the Air Deccan. I was for 10 years in a farm after my army stint. I was a captain in the army. And I lived in a tent for two years. And I, and, uh, I got into debt like all farmers. Uh, I got out of debt. So I know that part of uh, uh, farming uh, uh, India and the rural India. And I contested an election on a BJP ticket. I was the BJP president for four years. And then I completely gave up after I lost the elections. Uh, but I realized uh, suddenly on that night that how complacent all of us are, how uh, we are all in our own cocoon, uh, like lotus eaters, uh, unmindful, oblivious of what is happening in the country, uh, uh, you know, simply blaming politicians. Of course, they have, they have, they have to be blamed, but uh, I, I asked myself what is it I was doing myself. And I came back to Bangalore within a month after that terrorist attack, or two months, there were attacks uh, on uh, a different community, uh, communal attacks, I think, on Christians, uh, and, 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 and they all lived peacefully, and that was shocking, uh, communal attacks in, uh, I think, Orissa, communal attacks in uh, Karnataka, uh, and, uh, you know, that sort of got me thinking, and uh, the last straw was uh, when just about uh, a couple of months ago or a month ago, when in Mangalore, I saw on your TV channels and other TV channels where some of these goons uh, may be supported by the BJP, may not be supported by BJP, uh, but, but because of the lack of uh, uh, instant uh, action by the police, it, everybody believes that it has political support. I saw you know, women, uh, young women, girls being beaten up uh, brutally. And uh, I know, I mean, like all, all of us, you know, I was having right. a whiskey in my hand. And uh, talk, you know, watching the TV, I said, do I have blood in my veins or do I have water in my veins? So that gave a trigger and all my friends like Kiran Mazumda Shah. Ramesh I must Ramnathan. confess, Captain Gopinath, that sounds almost like a mini political speech. You've, uh, uh, you're already into the swing of things, it, it seems. Uh, but I should ask you this question. I know you have all the makings of a perfect politician, army man, farmer, <laughs> businessman, uh, previously tried your hand at politics before and failed. Perfect ingredients for a successful politician. Why are you choosing the Lok Sabha route? Most businessmen in this country prefer to choose the Rajya Sabha route. As you know... Uh most of the Rajya Sabha seats uh, won by business people uh, have been won by money power. Uh, it is well known. Uh, there are, of course, a few of them have won it uh, by getting appointed because of their affiliation or closeness or, in an odd case, it merits. There is no chance in hell of you getting into the Rajya Sabha as a businessman unless you have a political affiliation and unless uh, you also have uh, a huge... 
uh, money power in buying the uh, MPs or MLAs. So it was unlikely uh, that you'd get a Rajya Sabha seat, and which is why you decided to contest Lok Sabha elections. Let me come to the next, uh, you know, question. No, I mean, that no, I no, 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 one more thing. No, no. Uh, let me sure. put, a, put a one more na last nail on that. Uh, I did not want to contest at all because uh, uh, a lot of people have been calling me in the last three months to contest. Uh, but I decided against it because, as you know, uh, this is the worst time to contest an election for me personally because my new venture, Deccan uh, Cargo and Logistics, I am launching it next month on the, on the 4th of May or 5th of May I am launching the airline. And despite that you decided so to contest? That, uh, 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 yeah, as I said, that I felt that uh, uh, it need, need not be uh, just uh, total business or total politics. Maybe uh, I, I'll have to get up uh, uh, earlier, maybe I have to set aside three hours. Uh, even if I lose, uh, though of course I'm not contesting to lose, even if I lose, if I can uh, inspire people, if I can get people to participate uh, in, the, in the state of the nation, I think uh, I'll have won. It is, you know, it's like someone said, it's better to have loved and lost than not to have loved at all. Or, like uh, somebody else said, that uh, it's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog. I'm going to fight it. What is your campaign plan going to be? How are you going to connect with the common person? And who are you competing against in your constituency? Can you give us the names of the, uh, the other candidates affiliated to political parties since you've decided to go it alone? The agenda for me is uh, to contest from Bangalore, then I can attend to my business as well as politics if I, if I win. Uh, I decided to contest from one of the Bangalore constituencies. I have not decided. In the next two days, after consulting my f friends like, uh, for example, Kiran Mazumdar, uh, Mohandas Pai, uh, Pradeep Kar, uh, some of them called me and said, Captain, that you must go for it. Do you have any We're political advisors? Do you have any political advisors? No, uh, all, this is, all this, as I told you, has happened uh, on the fly as I speak. You asked about my agenda. My agenda is. Uh, not in that order of priority, but three, all not easy, all difficult, but I had to work with all, all my colleagues uh, and the media to figure out how to do it. Well, first and foremost is uh, terrorism. How do you uh, ensure that uh, the, the, the communalization and criminalization of politics, because there is the biggest problem now in Karnataka. And third is not just uh, communalism and terrorism, and criminalization is also building a society where we can create jobs. Uh, and um, they are all tough and uh, if probably 10, 15, 20 independents uh, get elected, maybe that itself will be a constituency to, uh, uh, to influence the government which comes to power. I must end this right here because we're entirely out of time, but all the best, Captain Gopinatha. We will be watching thank you Manik, closely and we hope uh, you thank fare you. very well in these elections. And thank, thank you for you joining much. us tonight.